Hello everyone, today our topic is how to update Google Slides for daily weather updates. So I want to get daily weather update, for that I'm going to schedule my workflow for daily. After scheduling my workflow, I'm going to get daily forecast reports by using weather API. After getting my forecast report, I'm going to update that forecast values in my Google Sheet. And also I want to update my Google Slides automatically. For that, I have to build a connection between weather API, Google Sheets and Google Slides. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pavli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pavli Connect, I'm going to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, I'm going to use Schedule by Pavli. In Action application, I'm going to use Weather API, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. So how I'm going to build this connection? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how we can update Google Slides for daily weather updates. So I work in a news channel and I present daily forecast report of my area. So for that, I have created this Google Sheet and Google Slide for daily forecast updates. So here, what happened is that every day I update the values of weather forecast in my Google Sheet and Google Slide. And now I'm tired of doing this manually. And I want a solution to update my Google Slides for daily weather updates automatically. So I was in search for a solution and I found a solution which is Pavli Connect. So for this, I'm going to show you how you can update your daily forecast weather in Google Slides by using Pavli Connect. And with this, I'm going to create a simple connection between weather API from where I'm getting the daily weather updates and Google Sheet where I'm having the data of the daily weather updates. So I'm updating my maximum temperature and minimum temperature and this is going to happen automatically and Google Slide where I have this presentation of my weather forecast in this bar chart. So for using Pabli Connect, I have to open a new tab and search for pabli.com and this will take us to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundred of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I have to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect and this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. And this is the workflow section. We can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. So here, what I need is I need to create a new workflow. For that, I have to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here I have to name my workflow, so I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to update Google Slides for daily weather updates. And I'm going to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and in this tab, I'm going to search for my folder. So I'm going to save this workflow in this particular folder of Google Slides. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on and trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we have to set up our trigger first and here in my trigger application, I'm going to use scheduler. So what I want is that I want to update my workflow every single day. So for that, I have to schedule my workflow. So I'm going to use scheduler by Pabli. So I'm going to select schedule here. And now I have to select how often you want to run your workflow. So I want to run my workflow every day. So I'm going to open this tab and I'm going to select every day here. And now I have to give a timing. So I have to select a time at which I want this workflow to schedule or work. So I'm going to click here and I want this to work at 7 a.m. every day. So I have selected my time as 7 a.m. and I'm going to click on save and I will click on OK. So I have scheduled my workflow. Now what I need to do is I need to set up my actions tab. So I'm going to open this tab and in this actions tab, I'm going to connect weather API. So for connecting weather API, I'm going to use API by Pabli, which is also a tool that Pabli offers. So I'm going to use API by Pabli here and now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and execute API request will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect API by Pabli with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect and I have all these tabs to connect weather API. So first let's set up our weather API. So I will go to my weather API account and this is my dashboard of weather API. And in this, I have this API key. So I'm going to copy this API key and now I will go to this tool of API Explorer. So I will go there 
and in this I have all these tabs. So first I have to give my API key. So I'm going to paste that API key that we have just copied. So I'm going to paste that here. And now I have to select my parameters. So in this I'm going to search my location and here I'm going to get the weather forecast of my location which is Bhopal. So I have filled Bhopal here. Now I have to go to forecast and here I have these three options of days, AQI and alerts. I have to fill all these details. So first I have to select my days. So the number of days of weather forecast values ranges from 1 to 10. So first I have to select the number of days of weather forecast that I want. So I want the weather forecast for each day. So I'm going to select the value as 1. And now if I want the air quality data or not, for that I have to select the AQI data. I don't want the AQI data because I only want the weather forecast of temperature. So I'm going to select no as my value. And if I want the weather alert data, then I have to select the value of yes, but I don't want any alerts. So I'm going to click on no. And now I want the response. So I'm going to click on show response. And here for the response, it has generated this call URL. So I need to use this call URL. So I'm going to copy this. And here I have this response header and my response body. So I'm going to get all these details every day automatically in Pabli Connect. So for that, I have copied this call URL. So I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect. And first I have to select my action event method. So I'm going to get the daily forecast weather updates. For that, I have to select this method of get. So by using this method, I'm going to retrieve the data from API request. So I'm going to select this method. And now I have to give my API endpoint URL. So I have copied the call URL from weather API account. So I'm going to paste that here. So this is my API endpoint URL. Now I have to give my payload type, which is going to be JSON. So I want my data in JSON format. So I'm going to select that. I don't need any authentication. So I have selected this option of no auth. I have filled all the required details here. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test request button. And here I have received this response. So in this response, I have these details. So my location name is Bhopal, which is in the region of Madhya Pradesh and the country is India. And this is the latitude and longitude of my location. And in this, I have this temperature. So my current temperature is at 27.5 degrees Celsius. And in the Fahrenheit, it is 81.5. And my condition is sunny. And in this, I have this maximum temperature, which is 27.7 degrees Celsius. And this is the minimum temperature of my day, which is 15.4 degrees Celsius. So now I'm going to get daily weather forecast updates by using weather API. And I have connected weather API by using API by Pabli. So by this, I'm receiving the details of the weather forecast. Now what I need is I need to update these details automatically in my Google Sheet. So for that, I have to set up my actions tab and here my action application will be Google Sheets. So I'm going to select Google Sheets here and now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and in this I have to update my row. So I'm going to click here on this update row option. So this is going to be my action event. And now I have to connect Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection. And I will sign in with Google. So I have already logged into my Google Sheet account in my browser. So it has detected that. So I just need to click on allow to give access to my account. And I have successfully connected Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. So for updating my row, I have to fill all these options. First, I need a spreadsheet and row index. For that, let me take you to Google Sheet. And in this, I'm using this spreadsheet of weather forecast. And in this, I have this row which I want to update. And the row index is 2. And in this, I have this maximum temperature and minimum temperature. So every day, what I want is every day when I get the weather forecast update, I want to update these rows with the values of maximum temperature and minimum temperature. So every day, these values are going to get update. So for that, let me take you back to Pabli Connect. And first, I have to select my spreadsheet. So for that, I have to open this tab. And in this tab, you will find all the spreadsheets that are connected with your Google Sheet account. And in this, I have to use this weather forecast spreadsheet. So I'm going to select that. And here we can see all the details have changed according to my spreadsheet. So first I have to give my row index. So my row index is row two. So I have filled that. And now I have these three columns. First one is of date, maximum temperature and minimum temperature. So in the date column, what is going to happen is that I have selected a formula in my spreadsheet. So according to that formula, every day, this date is going to change automatically. I only want to update my maximum temperature and minimum temperature. So for that, I have these data from my weather API account and I have connected that by using API by Pabli. So I'm going to use those details that I've received from API by Pabli. And for that, I have to use mapping. 
And what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I have to click here. I will open the response of API by Pabli. And in this, I'm going to search for maximum temperature. So this is the maximum temperature in degree Celsius. So I'm going to map this. And now I need a minimum temperature. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of API by Pabli. And again, I'm going to search for minimum temperature. And this is my minimum temperature in degree Celsius. So I'm going to select this. And now I have filled my required details. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test request button. And here we have received this response. So this is a positive response. And this means that I have updated the value of the weather forecast in my Google Sheets automatically. So here I have mapped these details. So what is going to happen is that whenever I'm getting a new updated value of my weather forecast, then automatically that details are going to update in my Google Sheet. Now to check this, let me take you back to Google Sheet. And here we can see that I have updated my row. So my maximum temperature is 27.7 degrees Celsius. Minimum temperature is 15.4 degrees Celsius. And I have also updated this in this particular chart. So this is my maximum temperature, which is 27.7. And this is my minimum temperature, which is 15.4 degrees Celsius. So here I'm updating my Google sheet with the details of the daily weather forecast. So here I'm getting maximum temperature of the day and minimum temperature of the day. And daily I'm going to update these details. Now I will go back to Public Connect. After updating my Google sheet, what I need to do is I want to update this in my Google Slides. So let me take you back to Google Slide first. And here I have this chart. Now what I want is that whenever my weather forecast values update in my Google Sheet, then automatically I want this to update in my Google Slides too. So I have connected my Google Slide chart with my Google Sheet chart. So whenever weather forecast values updated in my Google Sheet, then automatically this Google Slide values will also update. So for that, let me take you back to Public Connect. And here I'm going to add my last action step. And here my last action application will be Google Slides. So I'm going to select Google Slides here. And now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and I have already created my Google Slides. So what I need to do is I need to refresh my chart in my Google Slides. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect Google Slide with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will sign in with Google. And similarly, I have already logged into my Google Slide account in my browser. So it has detected that too. And I'm going to click on allow to give access. And I have successfully connected Google Slide with Pabli Connect. And now I have these two tabs, template presentation and chart object ID. So for that, let me take you back to Google Slide. And this is the Google presentation, which is forecast minimum and maximum. And this is my chart object, which is also forecast minimum slash maximum. Now we'll go back to Pabli Connect. And for selecting my template presentation, I have to open this tab. And in this, I will find all the template presentation that I have connected with my Google Slide account. So I'm going to use this forecast minimum slash maximum template presentation. So I'm going to select this. And here we can see that my chart object ID is automatically selected. So I have filled all the required details here. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see we have received this response. So this is a positive response. And this means that, and this means that I'm going to refresh my Google Slides every day whenever new value will be updated in my Google Sheets. So all this thing is going to happen automatically. So let me take you back to Google Slide. And in my Google Slides, I'm updating daily weather forecast. Now let's go back to Public Connect. And here we have created this connection between weather API by using API by Pabli. Then I have connected Google Sheets and Google Slides in such a way that I have scheduled my work for daily. So daily I'm gonna get the new details and the new update for my weather forecast. And whenever I'm getting the daily weather forecast, I'm updating those values in my Google Sheets where I have the maximum temperature and the minimum temperature for the day. And after updating my values in my Google Sheet, automatically I'm refreshing my Google Slides. So in my Google Slides, I'm gonna get the new weather forecast details in my chart. So daily my Google Slides are gonna get updated on the basis of the weather forecast. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and in my trigger, I have used scheduler by Pabli and by using scheduler by Pabli, I have scheduled my workflow for every day. Then I have set up my action steps and first I have used API by Pabli and by using API by Pabli, I have connected weather API. By connecting weather API, I'm gonna get daily weather forecast updates. 
and after getting daily weather forecast updates, I'm gonna update my Google Sheet with the values of the daily temperatures. Then in the last, I have used Google Slides as my action application and my action event was refresh a chart. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.